Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. Oregon is expected to hire Georgia defensive coordinator Dan Lanning as its next head coach. That's been confirmed by our Dennis Dodd. Lanning has spent the past four seasons at Georgia taking over as D.C. in 2019. He'll turn 36 next year to be his first head coaching job as he replaces Mario Cristobal, who left for Miami. Bulldogs defense allowed the fewest points per game and second fewest yards per game in all of college football this season. Get some instant analysis. Welcome to CBS Sports HQ college football analyst Barrett Salee, who knows the SEC very well. You know Dan Lanning. He is headed to Oregon. Your reaction is what? That Oregon is getting one heck of a coach. I mean, this guy is, he's been all over the country. He's been to Arizona State. He's been to Alabama. He's been to Georgia. He's been successful everywhere he goes. And I think the biggest thing, when Mario Cristobal got to Oregon, the recruiting went straight up. Top uh, recruiting class in the Pac-12 each of the last three seasons. Some of the guys that Dan Laning has been credited with as a primary recruiter, Brock Vandergriff, five-star quarterback. Nakobe Dean, one of the stars of the current defense, as well as Nolan Smith, a former top prospect in his recruiting class in 2020. So this guy is a relentless recruiter who understands just how top-tier organizations need to be structured in order to have that kind of recruiting success. You combine that with the money that gets poured into that Oregon program, whew, they're going to get a lot of talent, Eugene. What's your reaction to this hire considering Oregon was targeting Chip Kelly to bring him back to Eugene and now they go in a different direction? Well, to me, I think it suggests that Chip Kelly was almost a cursory interview. You know, it was like, OK, well, he was our guy before. Let's see if he's interested. I probably don't think that what he did at UCLA is all that attractive to Oregon right now because it took him so long to realize that what he was doing as an offensive mind wasn't new, it wasn't innovative anymore. And so I think Oregon looked itself in the mirror and said, well, what are we now? Do we want to be what we were under Cristobal or under Chip Kelly? And the way it was with Cristobal was fine. They've got Kayvon Thibodeau, one of the best defensive linemen. They've made a concerted effort to get stronger on the offensive and defensive line. So to me, Chip Kelly just wasn't a fit at this particular point for Oregon. He was back in the day when he got the job, but the way the program has evolved and, and stayed in the national conversation while undergoing that change, to me suggests that they need to get somebody similar to Cristobal in terms of what he's looking for, and that's offensive and defensive line success and studs up front. Georgia allowed less than 10 points per game this season. Oregon allowed almost 26 points per game, so certainly an instant upgrade defensively for Oregon. The question now, though, becomes how much of a distraction might this be for Georgia? going into the college ball playoff semis against Michigan now with Dan Lanning going to be taken over at Oregon, but still have to serve his duties and take, uh, take care of business here to get into the college football national championship. Yeah, it's a concern. There's no doubt. But I think Kirby Smart, he, he's done this before. He was one of those guys before when he got the Georgia job to begin with. So he knows what to expect on both ends. And it's going to be it's going to be very challenging for Dan Lanning. You have to do one job during the day and another job at night so you don't get a ton of sleep. But I do think that Kirby Smart being on the defensive side of the ball, cutting his teeth as a defensive coordinator, certainly will help. I think one thing to look at as well, Scott Cochran was their special teams coordinator. He took a leave of absence. Will Muschamp came in from an analyst role and was running special teams. You could just slide Will Muschamp over, put a different headset on him, and let him be a part of that defense as well, which, I mean, let's be honest, he was already kind of a part of it anyway. But now, maybe Will Muschamp, who was not successful as a head coach, but has been successful as a defensive coordinator everywhere he's gone, gets a little bit more of a role in this coaching staff. What do you make of the move considering that early signing day is next week? Was this a move perhaps to get somebody in place before that day? All of these moves are predicated on that these days. The, the early signing period has become the regular signing period, and you need to have a coach for that. Now, I do think we're kind of going into direction where it's not going to be as aggressive as this uh, moving forward because the transfer portal exists, one-time transfers, all that other stuff. But 
because of what we've seen, the evolution of the early signing period, yeah, a lot of these moves to dismiss coaches in the season and hire coaches in some cases during the season as well uh, is, is heavily uh, uh, a result of the early signing period. But like I said, I think that's going to change a little bit and, and kind of go back the way it used to be because there are so many different ways now to build a roster. All right, I want you to give this a grade on the spot. The hiring of Dan Lanning earns what grade for Oregon? It's funny you ask because I'm going to do that in our grading coaching, car coaching carousel tracker in about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Uh, I give it a B, and I think the success on the recruiting trail is what Oregon wants. He fits what their DNA is now, but he's a first-time head coach. He's a young guy, and he's going to take over a program with a, a lot of tradition, especially recent tradition and expectations to be a national championship contender. So I think there are some positives. There are some negatives. I think it's going to work out, but it's a risk because, let's be honest, when you take over as the head coach of a program— you're making decisions that, yeah, in your mind, you might have thought about what you would do in, re in relation to certain situations in the past, but you have not made those decisions before. So there is going to be a little bit of a learning curve. Well, A-plus work out of you, as always, Barrett. So we appreciate it here breaking down the breaking news. Dan Lanning heading to Oregon to become the head coach of the Ducks, his first head coaching job as he will leave Athens uh, in really – uh, a great spot this season in terms of defense. Number one defense in the nation, allowing less than 10 points per game. Top three in opponents' total yards per game, passing yards, and rushing yards per game. Now he'll look to go to Oregon, get them back into the college football playoff conversation going forward. Again, Dan Lanning going to be hired as the next head coach at Oregon.